Hi, from the JDBC statements presentation, you have learned that statement interface is the key interface in the JDBC API that allows you to execute your SQL statements, which could be DQL or BML against the database tables. You have also learned that there are prepared statement and callable statement. The prepared statement can be used to execute pre-compiled statements. So that's what you learned from the statements presentation. Today we will look into few more details on how to use the prepared statement. A prepared statement, as I said, is a pre-compiled statement, meaning a database, every time you send it a DQL or a DML statement, like an insert, update, delete query or a uh, SQL select query, the database does two things. It first compiles the SQL statement and then it executes the SQL statement against the tables and gets the results back or updates the appropriate table. If you are updating a user table or if you are creating let's say 10 users or if you are creating 10 different products or if you are creating 10 different orders onto an order table, if you are inserting 10 rows into an order table, the query pretty much stays the same. The only thing that are changing is the values that are going into the database table or the values that are coming back from the database table depending on the where class you provide. The select query here, select star from employee where id is equal to question mark. The question mark is the part which is going to change if you are going to retrieve the employee information for a particular id. Right? So instead of compiling the statement every time in the database, instead of asking the database to compile it every time, using prepared statement will tell the database, hey, compile it only once, give us the pre-compiled version of the SQL statement and from next time we are going to replace the parameters or bind the parameters into that prepared statement so that the compilation step will not be done by the database, it will just be the execution. In the compilation step, the database is going to check for the syntactical mistake, if there is any comma missing, if, there, if the table name is wrong and all that stuff is done during the compilation step. So we only need that to happen only once. To do that, we use the prepared statement interface, which is a child interface of the statement, statement interface. We can use the prepared statement in three simple steps. The first step is to create a prepared statement by executing prepared statement method by calling the prepared state prepare statement method on the connection interface you get a prepared statement object back the only difference here when you create a statement you simply say connection dot create statement you don't pass any parameters but in case of prepared statement you pass one parameter which is the string which could be dml or dql insert update delete statements or the select query which will be pre-compiled right when you create the prepared statement. Then the second step is to bind the parameters. So here we give question marks, we will not pass the actual parameters, but in the second step we can bind those parameters using the set xxx methods which could be set int, set string, set float, etc. depending on the type of parameter you want to pass in. So in this case, the first parameter and the only parameter in this entire select statement is the id for which I need to pass in the value. I would use prepared statement whatever I get back p for example let's say p is equal to connection dot prepare statement I pass in the SQL I get the prepared statement back I would say p dot set int 1 comma 1000 which is the id of the employee 1 is the first placeholder the first question mark will get replaced by the value we pass in here. If I had more parameters here, I would say set string, set float, set int and then the index comma the value for the parameter. You can use it against inserts, updates, delete, not just the select statements. And then once you bind the parameters, the next step is to execute the SQL statement. If it is DML, you execute, you call execute update. If it is DQL, which is the select statement, you call execute query, which returns back a result set. These two are very similar or the same as the methods in statement object except for they don't take any parameters. There is no SQL here. In case of statement, you pass in the SQL statement as a parameter. But in case of prepared statement, you pass the SQL right when you create it. That's the major difference except for that they both are pretty much same. Wherein execute update is going to return you an integer result which is the number of rows that get updated in the database or the number of rows that get inserted or deleted. Whereas the execute query is going to always return your result set and you know how to iterate through the result set. 
So to quickly summarize, a prepared statement is a pre it allows you to execute pre-compiled statements wherein the SQL statement will be only compiled once by the database and from that point in time you bind the parameters, that's the second step once you create the prepared statement. Finally, call the execute update and execute query methods, it's that easy. You can download the, all the JDBC examples I'm doing here are already there. The hands-on for these are already there on my website. You can download them by, by going to the downloads tab and then JDBC from therein. And also I'll be doing hands-on and time permits. And I'll, the next thing we'll do is callable statement which shows you how to execute stored procedures from within a JDBC, from within a JDBC client application or within our web applications. Until then, take care. Bye.